use of the VWR benchtop autoclave Vaporline Light 2P with built-in printer. Scope and application. The VWR benchtop autoclave Vaporline Light 2P is a semi-automatic steam sterilizer with a capacity of 23 litres and a built-in printer. For sterilization of material at 121 degrees Celsius and a maximum pressure of 1.08 bar, 15.37 psi. The top cover has a pressure gauge and safety valve preventing excess pressure buildup. This procedure explains how to use the VWR Vaporline Light 2 Benchtop Autoclave for sterilization of culture media, materials needed. Benchtop Autoclave Vaporline Light 2P, Autoclave Basket, Distilled or Demineralized Water, 3 litres, Protective Glasses, Heat Resistant Gloves, Materials to be Sterilized, Steam Sterilization Indicators. Steam indicator tape to distinguish autoclaved from non-autoclaved materials. Procedures Preparation and programming of the sterilization cycle Ensure that the air vent pipe under the pressure regulator is open before use by holding the cover up to the light and looking through the air vent pipe. If blocked, excess pressure cannot be released through it. Connect the plug to the main supply. Pour 3 litres of distilled or demineralized water into the autoclave chamber. Note, 20 minutes of sterilizing will use approximately 500 millilitres of water. Ensure that the heating element and probe are completely submerged, also at the end of the sterilization cycle. Turn on the autoclave using the main switch. The main switch and printer panel will light up green. Turn on the command panel by pressing the black start button next to the panel. Two displays will become lit. Upper panel, actual temperature, lower panel, stop. Set the sterilization temperature. Press set on the command panel until set.1 appears on the lower display. Use the arrows to increase or decrease the temperature. Press set. To save to memory, parameter will be stored even after the device is turned off. Repeat the same process for set.2. Set the sterilization time. Press set on the command panel until ma.t appears on the lower display. Use the arrows to select the sterilization time in minutes. Press set to save to memory. Parameter will be stored even after the device is turned off. Preparation of materials for sterilization. Sterilization of prepared media. Place autoclave basket in the autoclave. Paste a piece of steam indicator tape onto each flask. You can use the indicator tape to label the flask. Write date, type of media and initials. Place the material to be sterilized into the autoclave basket. Do not tighten the bottles completely. Loosen the screw caps. Do not exceed the maximum volume to be autoclaved. We recommend to use containers of maximum 1000 milliliters. Do not sterilize liquids in containers bigger than 2000 milliliters. Bottles of 1000 milliliters should be filled to maximum 500 milliliters. Bottles of 500 milliliters should be filled to maximum 250 milliliters. Autoclave a maximum four bottles of 1000 milliliters filled to 500 milliliters at the same time. Autoclave a maximum seven bottles of 500 milliliters filled to 250 milliliters at the same time. Attach include steam sterilization indicators. Start end of the sterilization cycle. Close the autoclave. Place the lid on the vessel by aligning the V arrow from the lid to the correct place on the vessel. 
turn it in the indicated direction until the handles of the lid and the vessel are aligned. Do not rotate the cover beyond this point. Verify the parameters again before starting the sterilization cycle. If needed, adapt the parameters. Press the set button for three seconds to start the sterilization cycle. The actual temperature is shown in the upper display, white. The set temperature is shown in the lower display, red. A red arrow lights up to show that heating is ongoing. C1, cycle 1, is shown. The pointer of the pressure gauge starts to move only at 100 degrees Celsius. When the sterilization temperature is reached, the lower display shows the time left to the end of the sterilization cycle. An acoustic signal, lasting a few seconds, indicates the end of the sterilization cycle. Stop and A1 are shown. Next. A1 disappears and only stop is shown. The actual temperature will decrease until room temperature. Wait for the autoclave to cool down before opening the cover. Pressure of 0 psi and temperature of less than 50 degrees Celsius in case of liquids, protective glasses and heat resistant gloves are required before opening the cover. Open the cover, take out the sterilized material. Verification of the sterilization cycle. Verify the steam sterilization indicators. Verify the steam indicator tape. Dark brown, black lines should be visible after autoclavation. Verify the printout of the autoclave. Verify that the correct temperature was maintained for the correct amount of time. 